Republicans here. Here for anybody whose heart is in the right place, loves this country, and is going to support one of the greatest men ever to stand for the United States Senate, Jim Webb. I think it is a time where America is going to come together. A great country. And we're a country that always, in the toughest times, has found its best and called on them to serve, has put them in office, and has supported them. So people do make a difference in life. He was a great Marine combat leader on the ground in Vietnam. He proved himself under fire. There are many people who, uh, who have been with us in this campaign since I uh, began on uh, February the 8th with uh, zero dollars and, and no staff, as many of you remember. And uh, it's really been the spirit of the people who stepped forward and uh, and volunteered and, and, and put their energy in the phone calls and getting out and knocking on doors and these sort of things. That's what carried us through the primary. That's what carried us from a, a deficit of 33 points at one point into a lead. Here's an issue. Stem cell research. People who, in my view, don't understand the scientific value of this belong in 1806. Michael, I'm not going to read this quote. I think it's just too disgusting to read. But, uh, you know, the bottom line was saying that his illness is an act. You know, what kind of bullying is that, folks? When you read that quote, you're supposed to see the interpreter dancing. That was really <laughs> saying that maybe his, uh, he, his, his medications weren't, uh, weren't being taken properly. Well, no offense, but I think Rush Limbaugh knows a little bit about what, uh... Thank you, Jim Webb. The next senator from Virginia. I'm Michael J. Fox, for those of you who don't have a program. <laughs> and I'm supporting candidates. <laughs> Can you see me all over this thing? <laughs> These things are always in the middle of my face. I'm supporting candidates who support all stem cell research and races. America is about hope. It's about promise. It's about always moving forward, and we deserve leaders who are willing to deliver that hope to their constituents. The idea of restricting one of the most promising areas of research is short-sighted. We have no way of knowing where the next breakthroughs are going to come. Um, okay, let's talk about this. As you referred to, um, I, I had a little run-in this week with a, with a less than compassionate conservative. <laughs> Apparently I'm not supposed to talk to you until my symptoms go away. <laughs> or maybe I'm just supposed to go away. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. debilitating and incurable diseases and conditions aren't going anywhere any either. And Jim Webb, when he's our senator, will not go anywhere until these diseases go away. <laughs> it's, no secret. it's no secret I'm a vocal advocate for medical research. I'm confident, I'm confident that, that, uh, that stem cell research can improve the lives of millions of people living with diseases and disorders, including cancer, diabetes, spinal cord injuries, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. But I'm not alone in this. A majority of the House of Representatives, a majority of the United States Senate, and over 70% of Americans support expanding funding for stem cell research. However, this summer, Senator Allen voted against that same bill. <laughs> Stalling research and its potential. Senator Allen needs to hear from you A better quality of life for millions of Americans. <laughs> you all understand that embryonic stem cell research transforms microscopic cells already marked for destruction into potentially life-saving research. 
I can think of no better affirmation of the culture of life. has embraced this cause as an important issue for Virginia constituents. We are not unrealistic. We understand that this may take years before the promise of stem cell research is realized. But we need scientists and researchers to start now, with the full support of the federal government. I am so honored to be welcomed by so many cities across the country. And I can only believe it's a sign that of the mass support there is for advancing science and the need to send champions of research to Congress. We must all show up on Election Day and make our voices heard. We owe it. We owe it to our families, we owe it to our neighbors, and we owe it to future generations. promoting stem cell research. I think that first thing he'd uh, want me to put on a tie. <laughs> but I think he'd support me because it's the right thing to do. Today, as an advocate, and also as a husband and father, I stand next to Jim Webb to help advance medical science. So stand up for what's right, not only for America's continued leadership in health, science, and medicine, but for what is right in the, for the future of the 100 million American families tested by debilitating disease. Vote for Jim Webb, you will